Hi guys, this is Emily with Happy Hello Homestead and I am here giving you an update on our pineapples I had mentioned. Um, I'm ready to pick this one. It's a golden pineapple. So we'll see how it goes. Brand new to pineapples. We actually didn't plant these. We found them while my husband was clearing land in our front of our property. So, all right, watch this. Okay, we're gonna take our cage off. That cage was there to help support it. Um, this was not supported correctly at the beginning uh, just because we didn't know it was here. So this, see how this goes. There it is. See how big it is compared to my hand. All right guys, so here it is. You can see it's as big as my head pretty much. Um, this is a golden pineapple. We've been waiting uh, probably a month I'd say since we found these when my husband Jeremiah was clearing out this front land uh, to make way for our future orchard. So here it is. I'll let you know how it is guys. All right guys, I'm back in my kitchen and I'm about to open that golden pineapple that we've been waiting for. Um, I'm just gonna show you how I open a pineapple. Um, everyone does it different. Um, and I know there's a really cool tool where you can, uh, it's like a corkscrew. I used to own one, I really liked it. I think really the only downside of that would be that you lose a little uh, a little bit of the, the meat onto the peel. So you're really discarding that. But but if you're gonna be making drinks with the pineapple, that'd be perfect. Um, but this is how I uh, you, um, cut a pineapple. And then I'm gonna show you how you can plant your own pineapple top. And uh, that's really an experience, uh, experiment I'm doing right now. I have two pineapple tops that I'm working on. Um, one from a white pineapple and one from another golden pineapple. All right, so here's my pineapple. This beauty is, I measured it. It is a six pound pineapple, I'm shocked. Um, so this is the crown. What I'm going to do first is take off the crown and then I'm going to take off the bottom where it was connected to the plant. You can see right there and see where I popped it off. All right, so I got my cutting board, my sharp knife. I'm just going to pull back these, the crown a little bit and get as close to the top as I can. All right, Let's show you that. It's very lightly colored. So there's that. Swing it around to the other side. I'm gonna cut off that bottom. All right. So now we have just this big old cylinder of pineapple and I set it up straight. And then I just take my knife and shave off the skin. Very lightly. So you can see, I still have these dots, which I don't mind the flavor of those. Uh, I don't mind the crunch of them. And then I have this really thin skin. All right, so we're gonna keep doing that okay. till we're all done. I feel like this is the best way to minimize the waste of the meat when you're cutting it. Just, um, you don't lose a lot. Uh, I've seen some people use these peels um, when they're grilling. They'll wrap like um, pork or chicken in, in the peel and kind of put it, sandwich it in between like this and then put some twine. I think that sounds like an awesome idea. Um, when we get a grill or even an oven, uh, we will be doing that for sure. Whoa. But right now these peels are gonna be uh, going to our chickens. Another thing, I've seen people do it almost do like a fermented pineapple drink. Okay. All right. So, okay. my bowl for my chickens that are spoiled to death. All right. Now, once I get it to this, um, I just I look at the bottom. There's little pieces I missed from just cutting it. And I just kind of shave those off. Not too many, it's very juicy. All right. Then what I do is I um, slice them into the big patties. Like that. I like mine, uh, my pineapple a little thinner. 
I just think it's easier to eat that way. So I do thin uh, slices. You can do big old chunks. Uh, you can, I like to do the chunks because I'll show you what I do next after it. So I got all these pineapples. <laughs> uh, this is really tempting not to eat this, but I'll show you what I do next. Take one slice and I half it and then I quarter it and I just do, see this last piece, it's very slippery. All right, do it. So you get little triangles. Uh, it does have the core and that's a little tougher to eat, but no one in my family really minds so much the core. After that, what I do is I put them in a big bowl and we refrigerate them. And then even this, this is a big old chunk. This is a little too big for me, but my husband, Jeremiah, will eat it. So these thinner ones, you can kind of do two at a time and just... harvested our other pineapple too early. We're very new at this, so we weren't sure, but uh, we harvested the pineapple too early and um, it was very sweet, but oh my, it was so sour. It was just as sour as it was sweet. It was like eating a warhead. Uh, so we, everybody had a hard time eating that one because it was just, the acid was too much. And uh, if you're prone to getting any canker sores, from acidic food, um, yeah, I am. So that was a big no for me, but the chickens liked it. That was kind of sad to say that, but we, we're still in that learning process and you, you can't be afraid to, to fail with gardening or anything on the homestead or you'll never do anything. So this one, we uh, even though it was a different variety, we did a little more research. Um, and we, I might have even waited a little too long on him, but I wanted this guy to ripen on the on the stalk because pineapples are one of those fruits that once you pick them, they're done. They don't ripen anymore. They'll change colors, but they won't get any sweeter. Um, so you, the longer you leave it on the stalk, the, the better it's gonna taste. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys um, how you can take the top of your pineapple and grow a new fruit. Now. Uh, if you don't live in a tropical area, it will take you a really long time to act, if, if at all, to be able to actually get a pineapple. So, um, but the plus side is uh, they are very pretty to look at. LaShawn, do you wanna go ahead and get the smaller slip pineapple? Um, so there's a few different ways you can do it. There's, uh, you can take a slip or a little, a little baby off the pineapple that's already growing. And that's what this little buddy is. He was actually growing on another uh, pineapple plant and he was just like growing to the side. So we plucked him off and he got his own little little house right here. Uh, we're gonna be letting him grow for a little bit in the house and uh, then we're gonna transplant him out into that uh, pineapple patch we have. But as you can see, even if you don't get a pineapple, there's still a pretty little house plant. They are extremely sharp though. Uh, and uh, yeah, they do, they are very attractive. So that might be a plus if you ever want to just a new little house plant. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do, we have um, this part right here where the pineapple is actually connected to this crown stalk. So we're gonna remove the rest of this pineapple that didn't make it. And you just pull on it like this. That's gonna be chicken feed, they're gonna love that. Okay, so now you have this little button. You're gonna peel that off as well, as best you can. You might have to use your fingernails. And then you're gonna start peeling away the bottom few leaves. So peel one at a time. And this is just a fun little experiment you can even do with your kids, uh, just to show, you, show them that even though you might not get a, a pineapple, you might, you still can explain how pineapple grows and works and it's fun. It's a fun little project. So, just rip these bottom leaves off. I like to give it a little, um, a little stalk right here and I'll show you. See how you got the layers. I'm gonna rip a few more off. All 
right. Now, if you do live in an area where you can grow a pineapple, like Hawaii or South Florida, um, it takes about 18 months to 24 months to get one pineapple. So if you ever live in an area that pineapple is very expensive, that would be why. You, once, one plant will give you one pineapple and it's a very long wait. All right, I think I'm gonna do a little long, more just because this is a very big crown. If you have a normal store-bought pineapple and your crown is a lot smaller, this is plenty, this is plenty of room. But my guy is very, very fancy. He's got a big old crown on him. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give it a little bit more area for the roots to come out. All right, so now we have our potted, our pot with our dirt. Um, this is not the most glamorous pot, but it is not a plant fashion show at our house, so we are fine. Uh, if he stays here any longer, I might get him something new, but right now this should suffice. So what we're gonna do, that's very hard, get ready. We're gonna shove it in there and ta-da, it's all done all the way up to it. What you can do is you can water on top of it. Some water and uh, put it in the sun and let them be. Got yourself a brand new house, house plant. Don't be afraid to, um, when you water this dude, just water right on top. Um, it's really cool, this the pineapples um, have the design to actually hold the water in their leaves like this. Uh, they're part of that bromulide or bromulid. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Uh, family that will hold the water like this. So, all right. All right, so LaShawn and I are here with the watermelon we just cut up. And we're going to give this bad boy a taste test. All right. There you go. Just grab a little piece. What do you think? Really more sweet than sour. This is very sweet. And it's definitely sweeter than any pineapple we ever had in Kentucky. Um, and it's not acidic, like it's very mellow. So imagine the pineapple with a stronger flavor and less acid. It is extremely sweet. And it's, it's a different color too than the ones I bought in Kentucky. On the mainland, this the ones I used to buy were very yellow. This is very white. I was I was worried that the color was off, but yeah, it's it's amazingly good. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the end of our video. Um, today we showed you uh, how to harvest a pineapple, how to cut it, and how to plant the top so you can maybe have your own pineapple. Thanks for tuning in with us. Bye, guys. Should we save any for dad? Yes. Mm, we'll see. <laughs>